getting ready to work on another Turbo Duo. This is going to be a, a full cap and LED mod job, but I wanted to catch the audio problems on video because this one actually does exhibit the issues. Um, although I'm a little concerned this might actually be more laser problems than just cap problems, but I'm almost guaranteed to find bad caps in there as well. But I wanted to capture uh, what it sounds like when it's messing up before I started replacing caps and all that. I've just got the Japanese Red Alert in the CD player. I'm just going to let it uh, cycle through here a little bit. ガルシア obvious. <laughs> Tear into it, see what we find. What I will do real quick is uh, play some Bonk's Adventure. So it seems to be fine on the hue card side. Anyway, you get the idea. Well, I just opened it up, and uh, something interesting is that somebody's already done some cap replacement on this console. They, these, all these caps right in here are usually surface mount caps, and then these big ones back here are always through hole. But so we still have audio problems, even though it looks like the main audio caps themselves have already been replaced. So now I'm even more thinking that the laser needs adjusted or replaced. But I'm going to go ahead and replace all the other caps. As you can see, there's still plenty of other surface mount caps on here. And like even this one right here, typical, is leaking. So we'll give the rest of them a go first and then retest. Okay, I've got all the caps replaced. I'll test the hue card first. Seems good. Test the CD. Not loading. Please set disk. So changing the caps did do something, but it looks like at least we need to adjust these pots for the laser or replace it. Possibly even clean it. I haven't looked at it to see if it's dirty yet. No, it doesn't really look dirty. I'll clean it off anyway though. No surprise there, still not loading. Okay, since our CD is spinning, I can actually skip a couple of the adjustment pots. 
102 and 104 are mostly for spinning. Next ones. I have a little plastic adjustment screwdriver. I don't remember what this came with, but it's got the perfect tip on it for adjusting these pots because they're very tiny little metal pots, and I'm not really keen on using metal on them because it might get the adjustment even more out of whack. I think I have, yeah, looks like 103 has got a broken leg on it actually, so I might want to touch that up before I really dig into this. That might be the whole issue. Okay, yeah, 103 did have a leg not connected. I believe that was my fault when I cut the uh, capacitor right next to it. It kind of grabbed a hold of that uh, trim pot and lifted it. So we might have a whole different situation now. Yep, it's reading. some kind of problem here. start from the beginning again here. All I did was kind of wiggle 105. ロイドセーフの申請によりこれを救出に向かったしかし目標地点には収容所の影も形もなかったロイドセーフにはめられたのだそして我々の目うんそれでいいんもう形もなかった。ロイドセーフにはめられたのだ。This could literally take hours to get perfect, <clears throat> but it's almost always necessary when replacing a laser. What about it? 
박수. 로봇. 지. 아. Before I get too carried away, the good thing to do is to get a really fine tip sharpie and mark them somehow. I like to put a little mark on it showing where <clears throat> pin number one is. That way, if it ever gets way out of whack, I can reset it. Factory settings and start fresh. Like I said, 102 and 104 can be skipped because it's spinning correctly. Supposedly you can kind of twist them clockwise and counterclockwise until it's working or not working and then just pick halfway in between and it's good. Huh, that went perfect. ミリド共和国のカナト大佐香港マフィアのミスター・リーリアル財団のスティーブ会長天才物理学者ガルシア博士彼が4人を中心とした国際的武装集団フォースプロジェクトが動き出したその内容は殺戮脅迫テロ活
Perfect. Hi, Daitori. Lloyd が裏切ったのは確かです。バックにフォースプロジェクトがついている模様です。彼らの力は侮れません。はい、適任者がおります。お任せください。話はついたのですか一任されたでは彼にああフォースプロジェクトに対抗できるのはやつしかいないだろうガイ・風間氏かな cycle all through the intro up to this point and it all did perfectly fine and like I said all, all I really did was twist 101 um, counterclockwise and clockwise until it kind of quit working and then I just picked a spot in the middle which ended up being about 90 degrees clockwise of uh, factory setting um, I wiggled 105 a little bit but I think it's back to the position it was in <clears throat> but the sled moved most of the way out to the outer edge of the CD and that's good because usually the further out the laser is the more likely uh, errors will happen so what I like to do is get an audio CD that I can tell is full so the last track is reading as far out on the disc as possible and what I'll do is I'll cycle through the songs and then fast forward to you know the end of the last song and make sure that it's not glitching and airing out and once that happens then we're, we know we're good and we can put it back together okay CD test also passed I didn't want to record that just for copyright issues but actually you can see the lead is or this sled is still pretty far out to the edge there a little bit of trouble fast forwarding but I always have trouble fast forwarding on that CD seems like it's even worse with a duo like if I put the same CD in a TG CD it fast forwards a lot easier and smoother I don't know why that is but it would read the music file or whatever and it would play audio just fine even towards the edge of the CD so I'm not gonna mess with it anymore and put it back together and uh, send it back to the owner and get paid <laughs>